The one thing I love about my job is that every day is completely different. Every day is a different situation. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, wow, you get to hang out with D'Angelo Russell, you get to hang out with Kobe Bryant, you hang out with Luke. I know people from the outside, they see them as these superstars. I kind of see them as just your average Joe, kind of just my friends in a sense. I'm the head athletic trainer for the Los Angeles Lakers. As a head athletic trainer, I'm basically responsible for all the medical duties that's related to the players. That could be anywhere from any type of injuries, rehab, strength and conditioning part. We can extend it as far as nutrition, both on and off the court. Make sure that the players are properly uh, warmed up, properly activated be before the game so they can perform at their highest level. I mean, the degree I acquired at Cal Poly laid down the foundation for what I do right now in my entire career path. I thought it I wouldn't be able to be in this position in general. I attended a uh, student leadership conference and the keynote speaker was Kai Kugler and he was a head athletic trainer for Cal Poly at the, at the time. He described his role, what he did. As soon as the conference was over, I went and I spoke with him and he gave me a little more detail. He allowed me to shadow him for about a week and immediately it, something clicked in my head and it's like, you know, that's what I want to do. We, we had a discussion in the training with one of the players and he came in and, you know, he asked the question, is knowledge or imagination more important in what you do? And it kind of made me think about, you know, when I was at Cal Poly and everything that I learned in the athletic training room, some of the skills that I learned that I apply now, without that foundation or that knowledge, you wouldn't be able to use imagination to do, do what you need to do. Trust is a big issue and very important when you work with, with individuals and work with athletes. You know what I tell them, if you could be the best athletic trainer in the world, you could be the smartest athletic trainer in the world, you could do everything you want in the world, but if a player does not trust you, they won't come to you. Anywhere in any career that you pursue, you would all see roadblocks, you all see obstacles in your way. It's not always an easy road. You just have to be persistent and be able to reach your goal.